Hello, so this is going to be a video on the PK56 calorimeter or color meter. And this was a Polish sort of Cold War device for checking the levels of ionizing radiation you'd absorbed as a dosimeter. Rather than using a charged dosimeter of electricity, this basically just uses a dye that is reactive to ionizing radiation. So basically it does the job of this thing all in one unit. Now technically you do not need this to be in the unit to take a reading, although it won't be very accurate, because these vials um, change colour as they absorb radiation, so if you basically look at the vial itself and see that it's getting pinker, you know that you've absorbed more radiation. Although to check the dose properly you need to put it in this and match up the colours. So. What I'll try and do is see if I can get this facing the light and demonstrating it properly. So essentially how this works is if I get the back bit off first, which is basically the dose checker, what we have here is the camera type bit of it. Now if I put that up to there, you might be able to see that there's two bits in here. There's basically a colour wheel that spins, and there is basically a left sort of bit you look through. So what this does is you spin this, and obviously the higher the dose of radiation, the darker the dye, it's sort of a red purple color. So that's what you do is you match up the two bits of um, colors to the color on the right. So what you do is on this bit on the back, basically this sort of cartridge looking thing, you put two vials in there. One side is marked K, if I can show that on the camera, if it's visible. Yeah, there, K. So that is the one for the control. So your control one, is the one that has a K printed on it, which sits in the top normally of the set. There we go. And this one is the one I want to show. And you might hopefully be able to see that slightly pink there, because um, that's the thing I've been exposing for about a week. Um, so the glass is actually blocking most of the radiation I've exposed it to, because it was mostly exposed to beta radiation, not gamma radiation. And this is obviously designed to really work with gamma only. So only the very hard beta was imprinting into the thing. Also, as these vials get older, they become less sensitive in general. So, the more modern Polish ones come in these black plastic tubes, uh, the older ones come in the metal tubes, as you see in the set. So, I found that these ones react better to radioactive substances than the old ones do. This is one of the old ones here, you might be able to see it's changed colour slightly. But that was the one I was exposing for a while, and then I switched it to the other one, and that started going pink at a far sort of better speed. So, once you've got the control in there and the other one, the idea is basically this, you can definitely see one's pinker there, slides onto the um, back of the camera. And there's the colour wheel inside the camera there. So let's close this up and see if I can demonstrate it in use. So what I want to do is, I don't know if they've actually marked which side the K is meant to slide up to on there, but I would assume the K sits on the side where you don't have the colour. So let's figure this out. So that's the K, so yes, I'd assume the K would go on that side like that, and that's locked in, right. So what that should do now is if it's looked through, what should happen is I should be able to use this to work out which colour most matches it. So that seems the most similar to me, and that is 150 Rongen. Um So yeah, there we go, that looks a bit darker, that looks a bit lighter. So I'd say, yeah, we're closest to 150 Rontgen on the absorbed dose. So as far as I'm aware, this is how you use this thing. Now bear in mind, to get 150 Rontgen on that die, that has been sitting next to check sources for about a week. You know, they're not particularly strong ones. Um, they're ones I can keep safely, you know, in safes and like lock boxes and things like that with a bit of lead flashing. As I said, it's mostly beta, um, which the glass mostly stops. But in general, if you basically have a secure box where you can store radioactive materials, you could try leaving one of these with your check sources for a month or whatever, and see over the course of weeks or a month, you know, if it was next to some radium watch dials or something, or, um, you know, some uranium ore or something, see if they actually slowly change colour. They should do. Uh, but as I said, the older ones tend to be as not sensitive. So, the little box, just to show you, obviously it has the camera in and the back bit. It says PK56 on the top, comes with a little manual, comes with a spare, one of those dials that's in there. Uh, in the top you have your control uh, vial, and in there you'd have two vials that could be used. And the idea is that a soldier would carry one of these on them, or like a plant worker or whatever, like a decimeter pen, and then rather looking through at the light to see what your decimeter reading is and recharging it via an electric thing, 
Um, do you see current? These basically just absorb radiation. So what you do is when you want to check them, you'd open them up. And obviously you can check that against the um, unit there. Obviously if you've been exposed to a lot of radiation, you'll actually be able to sink, see that the liquid will look quite pink in there. Sort of, anyway. So yeah, thankfully this works a lot better than I was expecting because you don't need as much light to look into these, obviously, as the um, sort of classic decimeters. But as you can see, if I reset that to zero, I'm going the wrong way. There we go, zero. You can definitely see that one of them is more pink than the other one if it's on zero. And then, yeah, you keep changing that till the colours match up. And I said that's probably as close as it's going to be. So it's somewhere between 100 and 150 Ronkin, I imagine. And that makes sense if you've surrounded it by check sources for a week, you know. Week plus, obviously. Depends on how strong the source is. The glass might stop some of these um, in a nuclear disaster scenario, you know. In an hour's time, you might you might have absorbed more, far more than that. So the max dose this shows you is um, 800 Rontgen, which is definitely a fatal dose. Um, even if we assume that's like um, Rontgens and not Rads or whatever, like not the ones your body would fully absorb. That is a very high level of ionising radiation. Basically, you don't want to get over 100 R. Uh, basically, in reality, in a short period, that leads to radiation sickness. Um, but basically what this was, was a way of using dyes to um, react to ionising radiation, you know, to um, check. So what I'm going to do once I finish this video is put that back with all my control sources and see if over time it starts to get darker like it should. It'd be quite nice to get one that's gone really, really sort of red-purple coloured. Um, so that's that. Um, now, for all practical purposes, obviously these sort of decimeters I think are a lot easier, but this is sort of an interesting device. I think these are turning up more on the surplus market now just due to the fact that basically Poland's probably swapping them out for mod more modern equipment. Because, um, you know, in theory the old device works fine as long as you issue the newer vials with them. So, you know, there's that. Um, the, you know, the pros of these are they don't need electricity, so thanks again to Beastor for sending me one of these. What I wanted to say actually before I go off, the Americans had a version of this which was a bit more simple. So what you had of the American one, if we just take this back out again, we'll take the one that's gone purple out, or the control one, the control might as well sit in there. So what the Americans had, let's put that on the floor, um, so you can see it's sort of purple. It obviously looks more purple when it's in a dark area, is... The Americans essentially had something like this, but it was on a credit card style thing, I think. Obviously it was thicker than the credit card, but the idea was it was a bit like a litmus paper thing, where you had a vial on there, and that was obviously what you looked at to see the colour. And then along the bottom they had the different doses on the card. So it was more of a case of just matching up the colour that the vial looked closest to on the card itself. Um, I imagine the American one costs more to build per unit than the Polish one, but the Polish one obviously... Um, requires this sort of more sophisticated device to read properly. So it's kind of, do you issue fewer reader devices, in a sense, and more vials, or do you all, uh, issue less people with the cards that showed radiation dose? But I said, the disadvantage of these, like capacitors in these go bad over time, and they don't hold charge very well. The problem with these is over time, it seems the dye becomes less and less sort of reactive, so you probably have to expose it to more and more radiation to get a accurate dose. Or you might even run into the problem as some of them get older that they die way too easily. You know, in the sense that you might expose it to something relatively weak in terms of X-rays or gamma rays and that it goes dark really quickly. But there you go, so this is essentially your litmus test for radiation. Um, you can't reset really these as far as I'm aware because, you know, they're just a glass vial with a reactive liquid in there. So what ends up happening is obviously the more it's exposed, the darker it goes. Um, the, the even more primitive version of a decimeter I can think of this are the film badge decimeters where you basically see if the film exposes because ionising radiation like light exposes film. So there you go, I hope you found this video interesting on the PK-56. Again, thanks for Piotr for sending me this B-Store. But as you can see here, there's no longer, with just a control in there, there's only that wheel there. There's no, um, you definitely can't see the other bit purple because basically this merges the control and the vial and the dial all into one sort of thing with a sort of a fisheye effect so you match the colours up and the control is just there to basically tell you you probably wouldn't need to use a control but the control is just there to tell you you know like what zero rads would look like in a sense oh, or zero ronken there you go 
you can hopefully see that that's slightly purple there, but you should have definitely seen that when it was in the device.